All right, hey guys. So you can probably can tell from the title uh, on, on the YouTube that I put. Uh, in this video, I'm going to help you find a potential fix on how to potentially fix the Microsoft Flight Simulator from not launching. So I you can probably can see I've downloaded um, the 1.15 GB, which is the first thing that you need to download when you launch the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. So as you can see, whenever i click the play button it won't launch it will launch for a few like for a few seconds like say, saying synchronizing to the cloud but it won't launch it won't get me to the microsoft uh, simulator uh, launcher so as you can see i'm gonna click play and synchronizing from the cloud as you can see it's running and then it won't launch so what i it didn't give me any uh, it didn't give me any error right so what i'm gonna do is basically uh, I'm gonna go to properties okay in your case I'm gonna go to properties and then go to local files and browse okay and then you go to fly simulator so what I did is basically I'm just gonna go to disable full screen run as admin and change dpi okay so this doesn't matter but I think the most important is run as administrator since it didn't give you any error right I'm so I'm just gonna apply and then okay and then I'm going to try launch alright as you can see I got this system error called I uh, probably I lost the DLL files which is called vcom140.dll so uh in my case i'm just gonna click okay okay i'm just gonna let it be like that and then I go back to the files where your installation folder is and then i'm just gonna okay i'm just gonna uncheck that one and then you're gonna go to google and download this file so I'm, in my case i'm just gonna like i'm i'm not sure i'm just randomly search for it and then vcom free download and architect architecture i think is the bit version so i'm using the 64 so i'm just downloading the 64 version after you downloaded that one okay you go and extract the file uh the winraw files and then you will get this both readme okay readme and then this is the file so what you need to do is basically you just need to copy or cut and then go to your installation folder and paste it Okay, so you can try to run the game. Alright guys, as you can see, the Microsoft Flight Simulator launcher is launched. So, yeah, I'm not sure I'm not uh, really good in, you know, fixing this and that, but I just tried the method run as admin and I got the error files. What? are the files that I were missing and then I got the missing files and then I download I copy and paste and this is what I got the launcher to run so in your case if you are you know having the same issue just like I do you can probably try this method and potentially hopefully can help you fix the issue from not launching from Steam so before that I want to apologize if my you know grammar or English a bit out English is not my mother language but I'll try my best to explain to you guys and I hope you guys understand what I'm trying to say here so hopefully it can help you fix the issue so yeah as you can see now I can download you know the game already instead of just launching and it's not launching so yeah thank you guys for watching see you guys on the next video